How are you doing? I hope you're staying safe. Baby Shark. Today we have Baby Shark with us and a very special guest. What's your name? Robin. Robin. Hi, Robin Clow. Hi, Robin. Hi. Robin's here with me today to read a very special book from what was the Brown Bear Collection. You've now called it the Happy Bears, haven't you? Happy Bears. The yeah. Happy Bears. Little bit of rebranding there. But what's the book called that we're reading today? It's called The Robin. The Robin. The Robin. It's all about a little Robin. And okay. And no, no, we'll be here to read it too one day. Okay. Whee! I hope you enjoy it. I hope Baby Shark enjoys it. Yep. One snowy day in a city called Edinburgh, a little Robin was opening his eyes for the first time. All he could see was a big white wall that surrounded him. It was very unstable. It was inside a big egg. He could hear something outside rustling and chirping. He wanted to see what it was. So he pecked and he pecked until he made a small hole in the wall. Crack! Suddenly a beak burst through from the other side and helped him peel away the wall to reveal another bird. A big bird. He ran out of his egg to give the bird a big hug. Mummy, he shouted. I'm sorry, my darling, replied the bird. I am not sure who your mummy is, but I am not her. The bird continued to explain how she had found the robin's egg in her nest and decided to care for it with her own. The robin spent many months with the bird, a very kind chaffinch, who fed him and washed him. And when he was old enough and big enough, the kind chaffinch taught him to fly. Even though the robin had learnt to eat worms and fly like his brothers and sisters, he still never felt like he fitted in. The other birds would ask why his colours were in different places to theirs and why he was so short and stubby. The robin asked the chaffinch why he was so different. My darling, she said, although I love you like my own, you are not. Your family is out there somewhere and one day you will find it. For days the robin practiced his flying technique, preparing for a long flight in search for his true family. Whoosh! He would soar in between lampposts and up above buildings, and eventually high above the clouds. Finally the day came. He gave his adoptive family a big hug and treated them to a huge feast of seeds, insects and grubs before leaving the nest forever. The chaffinch shed a tear or two as she waved goodbye, knowing it was for the best. The little robin flew for days, over hills, through forests and along rivers, through sun and through storms, and eventually through white glistening snow. The robin was used to the cold harshness of the snow from the months he had spent in Edinburgh, so he was happy to feel a nice deep chill again but he was sad that he had still not found his family. By this point, the robin had been flying non-stop for a week, only briefly stopping for a snack and a nap. The poor little bird was exhausted and decided it was time to snuggle down for a long sleep. A full day and a half passed before the little robin awoke to find a sparkling night sky. The air was completely silent apart from the sharp ringing of bells in the distance. The little robin was curious where the ringing was coming from. As the little robin flew, he could see a house in the distance with a sleigh and a reindeer on top, so he perched on a tree to look around from afar. Suddenly, a large round man in a bright red suit climbed out from the chimney. After pulling up a giant sack and wiping black for his face, he mounted the sleigh and whipped the reins. The sleigh began to depart from the roof as two large bears and a little bear ran out from the doorway below and waved. The robin then heard a booming voice from the disappearing sleigh. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Noah Bear. You saved the day. As the sleigh flew overhead, the robin saw none other than Santa at the reins. Excited, the robin began to jump up and down and chirp in delight at seeing the jolly man in the red suit. 
In his excitement, he lost his footing and plummeted down into the snow. The little robin was dazed as he tried to climb out of the mound of snow he had fallen into. Panicking, he managed to dig his way out before passing out from exhaustion. The long trip had taken its toll and the little robin had no energy left. As he felt his eyes close, he faintly heard from a distance, It's cold tonight, Mummy Bear. I'll go collect some more logs to dry for the fire. The robin woke with a fright beside a roaring fire in a cosy little living room. Hello there, came a voice from behind him. It was a little brown bear holding a bowl of water and a thickly cut slice of bread. Pappy Bear found you out in the snow and brought you in here to keep you warm. My name is Noah Bear, said the little brown bear. What's your name? R R Robert, replied the little bird nervously. It's mighty cold out there, little Robert. Why are you out there all by yourself? So the robin explained the sad story of his mighty venture from Edinburgh in search of his family that he had still not found. Noah Bear's face flooded with excitement as he ran from the room without a word and then returned in an instant. Maybe this could help, he proclaimed with glee, holding out a small piece of paper. Robert examined the paper to discover it was a map. Santa left it in my present last night. He must have known. The elves have very special magic. Sometimes they can foresee events like this, added Pappy from the doorway. It couldn't hurt to look. So the three bears and Robert set out with the map into the woods. They weren't searching for long before they found the X on the map, and lo and behold, a family of robins were basking in the sun. The mother bird shrieked at the sight of Robert, knowing instantly that it was her son that she was seeing. As the family embraced and thanked the bears for their help, Robert looked to the skies and thanked Santa for the greatest Christmas present ever, a family. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. What do you say, Robin? Say bye bye. bye. Thank you for watching. And, uh, bye bye. Bye bye, Shark. Bye, baby Shark. <laughs>